Hey everybody, it's December 11th, and you know what that means. Another Star Trek Hallmark review, and today we're looking at the Klingon Battlecruiser, released in 2009. And this is a nice one, I believe it's based on the Star Trek The Motion Picture model. But it's got a lot of great details, it does have lights, and uh, we have a little bit to talk about in this quick review, so let's get started. And here we have the Klingon Battlecruiser, released in 2009. And this thing is packed with details. I would almost say, if it didn't have the button in electronics, and this was made with some die cast, you could totally sell this as an Eagle Moss model, and it would probably fit in with that collection just fine. Now, I believe this is from Star Trek The Motion Picture. I may be wrong. If you do know, please let me know in the comments below. And a lot of people hate that movie, and uh, I could see why. It is kind of boring, but I recently bought the director's cut of it, and it was a pretty decent film. You know, I liked all the model shots, and yeah, it was fan service, but who's going to complain listening to the Star Trek theme and seeing the Enterprise for like 10 minutes? I didn't. I thought it was awesome. But anywho, now I would say this model is about 5.5 inches long, and it does have a light function, which I'll show off in a little bit, but I want to take a look at this nice detail. Now, I zoomed in to show you guys the, the great detail on here, and here we have the bridge section. And just tons and tons of lines and recesses and paneling. Just very nice. I think they did a great, great job with this. And then underneath we have that little design with the paint. And the paint's a mixture of multiple different colors. We have anywhere from olive green to khaki, a couple tans, dark green, gray, some black. Here we have red, blue, and orange for the Klingon symbol. Just nice. This this thing is beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite ornaments they've ever made. Just really, really great. Here we have a bunch of metallic grays, dark grays, and regular gray for the warp nacelle. Just beautiful. And back here we have our uh, little section here with the winds. We have our impulse engines and the top up here. And then looking up at the top of the winds, just really nice. Look at all that great detail and paint. Just beautiful. Then we have an ornament loop. And you guys know what that's for by now. You get your little hook, put it in the loop. Then you can hang it from the tree. So anywho, continuing down, we have a little reddish gray here. Almost like a pink. Then coming right down the neck, back to the bridge section. Very nice. And I could just talk for hours about the detail on here. Just really good. We have these sections on both sides. This piece right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Very beautiful. So let's take a look at the lights now. Okay, now only a couple things light up with this. We have our engines. And then we have the, uh, the torpedo tube. that uh, It kind of lights up dim. And then I guess when it's about to fire, it has a, a brighter burst. So let's take a look at that first. So there we go, it's dim. And then there we go, it just fired our torpedo. You know, use your imagination here. <laughs> and then also we have this section that lights up. Very nice. And then back here the impulse engines light up. So all in all, this is a great ship. And that basically does it for this review. I think uh, the ship is well worth your money if you can find one. And uh, it could work for anything. You could get probably get a uh, ornament holder that sits on your desk and put this on your desk. And it doesn't look like a Christmas ornament at all. It could just be a model. So, I don't know. I, I fully recommend it if you could find one. Pick it up. Especially if you're a Klingon or Star Trek fan. And that's basically all I have to say about this ship. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow for another Star Trek Hallmark review. Bye.